or something. So this video, I wanted to um, speak about uh, one thing. It's still one of my early, early videos of the channel, and this is really the most important subject that we're going to be dealing with because I know a lot of so-called scholars are going to be not very happy or in agreement with some of the things that I'm saying and uh, this video is to uh, basically attack them for being not very intelligent when looking at these things like that okay so a lot of the magic we're going to be looking at, at least the written evidence of that, comes from, you know, the 13th century onward. Uh, a lot of we're going to be looking at magic from a lot of different countries, but the main things uh, we're going to be focusing on is uh, the Icelandic magic from the Galdubuk and some other sources. And um, the, these were all found in from the 1300s on, and ev even as early as the 20th century. Um, some people have found these books, these magical books in Scandinavia on their family farms. So it appears to be a relatively new thing. So a lot of the scholars um, agree or argue that these were not from the Viking Age. These were not from any earlier than the you know the 13th century 14th century 15th century and onward and that is the stupidest thing I have ever heard that's like saying okay I found a school bus from the 1950s and I found a pencil in there so the pencils must have been invented in the 1950s so of course that's ridiculous the pencils were not invented in the 1950s they were invented long long time before that um, and earlier forms uh, before that. And magic is another thing like that as well. They take hundreds and hundreds of years to develop, and um, they were absolutely older than the written sources that we have them recorded in. Um, how old? I don't know. We're going to be examining that in this channel, but they were definitely much older, at least in some form. Uh, when you think about, and that goes like that with any invention when you think about it. Um, even though the magical stave might not have been invented that day um, they developed off of something else earlier that's it that goes with any invention say we're in the year 3000 for example and uh, some archaeologists archaeologists came and dug up my house and they found my car in my garage and they found the tire on that car and they say oh okay this is today 2020 uh, we're in the year 3000, so the tire must have been invented in 2020, which is the, also the stupidest thing you can think of. I don't know why we're allowed to think that way in the historic community, you know. Um, of course, cars, uh, when we say, say we found a brand new Tesla, uh, the Tesla had a previous model, and then they developed on a previous car to a more primitive car and then there was a horse and carriage and there was a chariot and then there was the wheel many many thousands of years ago so any invention is like this and it uh, it gets developed over time um, and built upon by previous knowledge uh, and magic is the exact same way so even though a lot of the sources we'll be looking at will come from more recent times uh, they're without a doubt um, uh, linked to a long long tradition of magic and also Iceland was Christianized uh, about a thousand years ago um, it was different in different countries in Scandinavia and the North world but around most all of them were officially Christianized around a thousand years ago or, or a little bit before and um, even though they may have officially been Christianized in the written documents, uh, it's absolutely idiotic to think that every single person in those countries uh, became Christian overnight like that. It was absolutely not true. They continued their pagan traditions for many, many, many hundreds of years after that. Um, even even today, I, most of them are, are, are gone by now, um, a thousand years later, but still, we still have uh, pagan traditions that were carried on. Um, and magic would have been exactly the same. So um, that's all I have to say about this video. We'll be speaking a lot more about this in later ones. And uh, that's about it. See you later.